Well, Greg, if new bulbs have to be ordered, next time, don't drink chocolate milk, you fool. Ah, oh, boy. I really bring out the worst in you, and you bring out the worst in me. But anyway, what I wanted to check. So I can go to Greg, I can go to Angus, I can go inside of this building. Why? Why can I go inside of this building and take the stairs this time around? This is to go to the roof. Ah. Okay. What the hell is a malt? I think it's a malt whiskey. Okay, so one, two, three. Ha 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 ha. Can't stop me. Where the hell would this go? All of a sudden, there are more places I can go because the window is open or the roof access. Is there anything else up here? Oh, another one of these windmill stations. Huh. Wonder if there's a reason for those to be around. Well, if I have to remember that they are around. Well, in the meantime, where's this going? Um. Okay. Hella birds. Holy shit, that's a lot of birds. Definitely. Hello, mister. <gasps> pentagram. Whoa, pentagram. Doesn't prove anything. Weird teens. That is spooky, though. That's one of the three. Okay, well, apparently that's what I'm looking for. Got it. Hello, mister. Um, hello, sorry for interrupting. Hello. I'm May. Sadie. What are you doing up here? What are you doing up here? I'm exploring. I mean, do I need a reason? No, I'm exploring. Hmm, same way I found it. Did you know? This is the only stage in town. Are you on a stage a lot? But it's not the only stage in town, because at the, the party barn, there's also a stage where me and my friends play guitar. We just did a play at the hardware store. That too. We used to count as a stage. Okay, this is the only stage in town. That's only a stage. Looks like no one's played here in a long time. Yeah, been a few decades. Are you gonna, like, put on something here? Oh, I don't think anyone's gonna be putting anything on here. At least, not anytime soon. No electricity? Probably structurally unsound by the looks of things. Infested with rats and pigeons. Other than the electricity, that's like most of the town, though. <laughs> that it is. That it is. Funny. What? I just met this guy over by the church steps. He was also hanging by himself. And playing music. Oh, small world. <laughs> well, small town at least. Definitely. Well, see ya! And enjoy life. Well, that was an interesting visit. Did not expect to find that. But that still makes me wonder, okay, cool that we could go here, like this, but why now? Oh, because we can't do that. Still, weird, but I will take it. Which means, one quick talk to Bia, and then we will be off to the video outpost too, because today... I want to hang out with Greg. No, with Angus. I don't, why do I keep switching those names around? I want to hang out with Angus. Because we have not done that just yet. Hey, Bia. Hey, May. I think I'm going to burn this place down. Oh, cool. Can I help? But also, maybe it might have consequences. Oh, we could take the insurance money. And like, not do this. What if you get caught though, then you lose the insurance money and the place. 
I saw a show where they caught someone doing that. You're going to burn this place down for me. Oh, cool. But also, maybe I'd go to jail. And the guy who tried to help me in regards to telling me how to escape from jail, he wasn't that helpful. No, you have no motive. No one would suspect. So, I'm assuming that work's not going well? Uh... Okay, I'll actually do it if you want me to. Uh, please don't actually do it. We need this place. Okay, fine. Did you want to check out the graveyard? Uh, not today. I'll do it some other day. Okay, well, let me know. I will certainly do so. Good luck today, Bia. You got this. And meanwhile, we're off to visit Angus. It has taken me a really long time and I'm very sorry for it, but hey, I finally managed to find some time to hang out with you today, Angus. Finally. So, uh, I said I could, like, take you up to the park. You indeed did. You ready to go? I totally am. I'm excited. Are you? Can't you see I'm excited? I've got my arms up in the air just like Greg does. Although he waves them around a lot, but I'm excited. Yeah, we never get to hang out. And finally, I can. And plus... Ghost hunting with Angus? So you think the guy you saw was a ghost? Well, I'm starting to doubt that, but the chance is there. N not a guy, a ghost. R right. Why does no one believe me that it was a ghost? Like, how else do you explain the whole walking through a chain link fence part? Well, I mean, ghosts don't actually exist. I'm pretty sure they do. Well, I'd need evidence. Then we will get that evidence. What would count as evidence, though? The ghost walking up and saying hello counts. And me saying, hey, I verified you are a dead person. To be a zombie or a Frankenstein? That would also be ghost-like, right? Okay, maybe if they're made of ghostly stuff. Ghostly stuff can be our podcast about ghosts. This episode of Ghostly Stuff brought to you by Donut Wolf. <laughs> Welcome to Ghostly Stuff. I'm me, and I saw ghosts. And this is Angus, who doesn't believe me. I'm Angus, and this is me. She's a crazy person. And that would totally be correct. Let's go to the park. Let's go to Possum Jump. Nice evening. Yeah, it's alright. It's not rainy and... It is autumn, so it's getting kind of chilly, but it's doable. My mom used to take us up here to play frisbee. I got hit in the teeth with a frisbee once. Full speed. May, why do we have to ruin the moment? <laughs> Jeez. Casey and me were throwing things at each other's heads. One of those things was a frisbee, the other might have been a rock, but the frisbee hurt the most. Ooh. And we stopped after the frisbee. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. In that regard, we have not changed anything at all in all those years. Oh boy. Uh, Post-its. Do not feed. Or touch. The wildlife. Well, that seems extreme. Oh, clearly. See, this is what I mean, we're just so bloody reckless. But yeah, clearly, because if you feed the wildlife, uh, like rats, you should never feed rats pretzels. Take that from me, Angus. They multiply quite a bit. Well, clearly you shouldn't feed the wildlife or pet them, because if you pet the wildlife and they don't like it, they will bite you. No, there's some folk living in cabins up here. You can, uh... Feed and touch them if you want. No, that's just weird. It's a weird old place up here. There's all kinds of weird stuff back up in the park. 
old stuff just hanging out in the woods. Plastic bags from the food donkey? Like ghosts? We'll hit my old scout camp on the way up, I think. Busy woods. Okay, better get going before it gets dark. But that's right when the ghosts appear. Don't you realize that, Angus? Uh. I like being able to hang out with you. I've wanted to for a while now. I was kind of sad that I couldn't because you were one of my three friends with which I couldn't do anything. It was only Greg or Bia. So, I appreciate it. Um, I kind of wish I could move ever so slightly slower because right now I'm like running ahead and slowing down and it's like an escort mission with an NPC. Are you alright, Angus? Yeah, I got asthma as all. Uh, sorry you gotta wait for me. I do apologize about my whole comments about you possibly being an NPC escort mission. Do you have an inhaler? Didn't you run cross country back in high junior? Or back in junior high? No, do you have an inhaler? Like, feel free to use it if it can help. Yeah, but I save that for emergencies. Being slow isn't an emergency. Alright, then I will be a little bit more patient. What is this thing? This is like uh, a fireplace, old fireplace. A lime kiln, I think. Limes? Why is it called a lime kiln? Like, I know it's a stone kind of thing, but lime? While well, you've also got limes as in fruit limes and such? Limestone. You, like, do something with it there, and it becomes this other thing. I have done arts and crafts in high school. I know how the whole pottery stuff works. Oh. Limestone's weird because... It's mostly made of skeletons of sea creatures. What? It is what? From millions of years ago. So like, this was all underwater or something at one point. Whoa. No way. Really? I mean, rocks don't lie. Like, right where we're standing, there were like ancient horrible sea monsters. Like Big Snake? Creepy. And awesome. That's history. Okay, I'm ready to go. Alright. That's pretty cool though. Can we go here? No, we can't. Still though, that's cool. Oh, I guess you're moving pretty fast right now. Well, mostly because I'm slow, but... Wait, another kill? Who? Need to take a break? Oh, I'm okay, I'm okay. No prob. Ooh. Ooh. So, if this place was underwater, where did the water go? Why aren't there like ancient shark bones up here? I don't know. There might be, I guess. But not everything becomes a fossil, you know. Why? I don't know. I'm not an expert on any of this. But there were definitely ancient sharks around here. Weird, because things are so boring nowadays. To think like all that crazy stuff was going on here. Who needs a navy if you've got fossilized sharks and such? Oh, there's always more weird stuff that happened. To find out about later. Well, but that is history. Anyway, I am ready to go. Cool, cool. Still weird for them to be multiple of these kilns here. Like, even the one in Jenny's field, although that one was a little bit of a bigger kiln, but... See, another one! Why? <sighs> Are you sure you're okay, Angus? Yeah. <sighs> oh, sorry. <sighs> Seriously, it's fine. If you want to take a half an hour to climb this hill, by all means, I'm just happy to be doing stuff with you. Just hang on for a minute. Okay. I should know all this stuff about, like, ancient sea creatures, rock or whatever. Lime. Stone. I was gonna take a class of dinosaurs back in school. at school. What happened? Why didn't you? 
Eh, uh, it was all full up. Seems like dinosaurs are very popular, even among older kids. I also always used to think there was normally something for the small kids, but nope, dinosaurs are apparently all the hype. That glass fills up fast. My bet. I love dinosaurs. Dinosaurs are like the most interesting animals, mostly because we don't know anything about them. And we're still imagining things like, oh, this is how a T-Rex looked, but do we honestly know for sure that that is how a T-Rex looked? It's all in our imagination because it happened so long ago in the past. Oh, you knew they had feathers. That's what I mean. Some of them apparently had feathers. Or at least some of them had feathers. I know, right? Big freaky chickens. Things were so scary and cool back then. We died in like five minutes. <laughs> oh yeah, ancient creatures would eat us, no problem. Be glad for the millions of years between us. Weird. Time, dude. Such a weird concept. Time makes most dangerous things less dangerous. Most things, at least. Like, what does time not make less dangerous? Cause currently I can't come up with anything, but uh... Are you ready to roll? Yeah, we're almost through the top. Then we shall head to the top together. Oh wow, it got dark all of a sudden. Well... That was a hike. That was a lot easier when I was 11. See, that's something that time makes more deadly. Doing stuff. Like when you're a kid, it's so much easier to make a fall or something. You just get back up, cry a little bit, have a scrape, and nothing's wrong. But the older you get, the more dangerous it gets because you break your bones and such. Oh, we passed what? What? Three gates on the way up here? I lost count. But there were quite a few of them. Oh, weird. Used to be open back then. Hmm. Why would it be closing possum jump like that? Anyway, are you ready to go? Ready to hunt for some ghosts? Uh, not for now, just up ahead. You know, even if even if there aren't any ghosts, this is kinda spooky. Like graves, huh? Yeah, these were no, I forgot. Uh, they were involved in the Possum Massacre. Oh, yeah. Okay, I read about that in the library, and that was gruesome. Wait, would the mine entrance be up here, too? Like, if the mines possibly ran underneath Jenny's fields. And there could be mines all the way to the west of Possum Springs, where we saw the Pigman ghost disappear, too. Could what we have seen in our dreams, where the strange noise was coming from, could that possibly have been a mine entrance? And the sound that we heard, the wheezing and whatnot, were merely the sound of the elevator lift, maybe? Like, rationally thinking, when we're not thinking about, oh, we're 100% dealing with a monster, no, we're dealing with a possible killer. A normal kidnapper, a normal humanoid kidnapper. Huh. Interesting. But well, yeah, these graves were involved in the possum massacre. Or something. That, like, the labor strike thing. Where it was like the Miners versus National Guard. Happened back in town like a hundred years ago. I know, Angus, I read all about it. But why are those graves up here? Well, I think these were some of the bad guys. Does that make it less spooky or more spooky? And uh, some of the miners didn't want them buried in town. Oh, huh. So could we be, could we be dealing with evil spirits? Uh, there's like a few old graveyards up here from like uh, colonial times. I guess there's one up here somewhere too. Well. That's spooky. Uh, just bones. Until it's not just bones, but the ghosts of the angry colonial people. 
or ancient shark bones. Yeah, see, nothing left to be scary. Ah, oh, come on. Still weird though, and certainly making things spooky. At least, I find it spooky. Oh, it seems like we're here at the edge. So... Are we going to find anything here? Wow, we're up really high. Like, even with my jumping, if I were to jump down right here, I probably wouldn't survive. And we're also really far out, so even if we were to fall and were to survive, and were to break all our legs, no one would be able to, to rescue us in time. Unless they came out with a helicopter. I can't see down from here. It's south of us, behind whatever ridge that is. So, what? Are we just supposed to wait here and see if anything happens? Waiting for the ghost to kidnap us? You tell me, you're the expert. I guess we'll just wait here and see if anything happens. It's a nice night. Yeah, it certainly is. Luckily it's not cloudy, luckily it's not too cold. You know, back at school I couldn't see as many stars. It always made me sad. Oh yeah, they're really nice up here. I wish I knew the constellations like you did. What? You know, all the names and the stories and stuff. I wish. I can never remember them all of them. I think the one up there is like a bell or something. No, 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 no. Remember that time when we were all at that longest night bonfire? And we spotted the constellations together? And you told us all about them? That's not a thing that happened to me. It wasn't? Oh, wow. Maybe it, maybe it was like a dream or something. God, I barely remember now. I wonder what fake constellations are stories you dreamed up. Okay, humor me, because all the constellations I could come up with are the most logical ones and the ones that are true. But nobody knows about them just yet. I'll find the constellations, and you tell me about them. Okay then. So I will have to make up what crazy stories would come up in your mind? We can do that. Alright, find me some constellations. Wait. Are these gonna be real ones or fake ones? Just ones I remember. Or dreamed that one time. Yeah. Oh, whichever. Remember Mrs. Jazakoff? Yeah, science teacher. He lives in Underhill and has a telescope on his roof. I uh, several times I went out with him to see to look at desk stars. And I totally saw some stars through it. Right after my eyes got burned out. That's cool. Telescopes are cool. Oh, wish I had a telescope. Okay, let's see. Um, pointy, pointy, pointy. I'm calling you. Oh, I am calling you to the. No. Why? I'm trying to do that. There we go. So, can I, like, no. How does this work? Like, I got you, do you need to go up? Is that the, is that the full constellation, or? Yes, it is. Ooh, the fire breathing guy. It's a Pope. He breathes fire. Oh, th this one is real. Or at least th the dude is. Yeah, I can't remember his name, but apparently he ate people and he breathed the fire. Rubello! Rubello the Saint or something. There's a statue of him outside church. Oh, we never went there. Oh, you should totally see it. It's pretty cool and creepy, but did your family go to church? Did you? Did you ever go to church or your family? Oh, weddings and funerals and longest night, basically. Huh. 
Interesting. I don't think those first two count though. Those are like events. My mom works at. My mom works at. Uh, speaking. It's going badly. My mom works up at the church now. I haven't gone really since I was like 14 or 15. Does she mind? Uh, I'm not entirely sure. She pretends not to, but I've got this feeling that she wants me to come in sometimes, but I want to live my own life. Anyway, moving on, different statues and or star constellations. You to there. Nice and perfect. This one's not going to connect. Oh, it is. Are you one? Nice. It's a cat, like me. And apparently it's holding a diamond and it has arrows in his back. So I'm assuming he's a very successful thief who never got shot at. He's got arrows sticking out of him. And he's chasing a diamond. Oh, I know this one. I don't remember his name though. Uh, he lived... Uh... You remember the stories about the forest god? Uh, forest god... The only mention I can remember of him was during that play when I was helping B out with the uh, harvest. So, there apparently is some sort of forest god, so yeah. My granddad used to tell me Adina stories. Oh, okay, yeah. Anyway, this cat was in there. Like, he liked shiny things, was good at getting through the forest, was really good at stealing. Oh, wow. Yeah, I used to call him Ass Cat when I was little. Well, then he stole a diamond from a king and got arrowed to death. Is this the same king as the one who got murdered by Dor the Murderer? But he was slick enough that he jumped out of his body. Wow. And he became immortal or something. Huh, that's decent. Extremely decent. Like, imagine an immortal spirit still stealing stuff. Forever and ever. And that is why your socks always go missing. Well, I totally believe that story. Anyway, got another constellation right over here. You go over there. Trying to do this with one hand is a little bit difficult. Okay, you, there, there we go. Do you go up? Do you go down? No, then in that case it is a... All right. Whoa. Okay, is it this one? Okay, what are... I'm not entirely sure where that one is trying to refer to. Like, can you go all the way over here? No. Can you go all the way over here? Then where do you connect to? Like, I've got an unconnectable star constellation thing and I'm not sure what to do with it. Like, you connect, you connect. Or is there stuff to the side here that I haven't seen? No, like, I can connect it, but... Oh, really? Am I such a doofus? See, I don't know anything about these constellations. I miss a bell. Okay, that's a bell. And in the middle is his, this eye. Illuminati bell. Well, the eye is at least looking at you. Okay, that's uh... I knew this once a little from like, prog rock album covers. I think the world ends when it rings. Like that would be cool. I think you die when it rings when it's looking at you. Now, when it rings, the world is supposed to end. It's the sign of the apocalypse. I mean, that makes sense. It's gotta be really loud. There's no sound in space. That's why when you hear it ringing, everything is gonna end. I mean, like, basically no sound, usually in space. That sounds really scary for some reason. Well, at least it means we're not going to get rung to death by a bell. Or at least that's what you would expect. So, meanwhile. Constellation, you matching all the way up over here. 
when we started this, I was really expecting, oh, I'm gonna make a pan and it's going to be the uh, uh, earth sign. I don't know the constellation names of things in English. Nor do I know them in the, uh, from the Netherlands, but hey, it's a wheel. And it's got like the world on its back. Is that usually a turtle? Ooh, wow, that's sad. Yeah, gotta carry all of that along. Although, why would you call it sad? Like, is it sad for the whale or is it sad for the people who used to live on top of the whale because now they're all drowning? Why does it have to carry the whole world? That's a heavy weight on its shoulders, you know. Like, that's really unfair. <laughs> yeah. That is legitimately upsetting. You kind of wonder why people made this up. Well, people don't want the responsibilities, perhaps? Like, oh, we're carried along by a whale in space anyway, so whatever we do, it's out of our control. I mean, like, these specifically. Yes, some of the Dusk Star myths, for example, are pretty weird. Who saw a whale and was like, needs to be carrying something? I mean, whales are pretty big, so they would be the prime candidate to carry stuff. But they didn't know what the Earth was, so they made stuff up. Yeah, but like, I, d I don't assume everything I don't understand is a whale. Well, people in the old days did, maybe. I mean, you could start. Yeah, we're like way out here, huh? In the park? Yeah, I guess. Spooky. I don't know. It's pretty safe. And the stars are pretty. Oh, they most definitely are. So, you don't believe in ghosts at all? No, don't believe in ghosts. Or gods. Or psychic powers or anything like that. Not at all? Like, even those on the television who proclaim they have psychic powers and they seem to know a person in your life by asking, uh, hey, ah, uh, oh, uh, Alice, it's Alice, or something like that. I mean, there's no evidence for them. And people have really tried. Did you ever try? Yeah, when I was a kid. Tell me about it. So, um... I, I don't know how much I've ever told you, or how much Greg has told you, but I didn't have the best childhood. I can't remember Greg saying anything about that. Although, yeah, I think I heard that. You know, the, the details, I don't know the details, let's say that. But why was it bad? Uh. My dad didn't like me. Why didn't your dad like you? And my mom didn't either. Why? And like... Um... Uh, you, you don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. Uh, no, it, it's fine, me. Uh, my dad... He used to hit me a lot, and um, my mom was probably worse. She like, wouldn't feed me, which is why I really like cooking now. <laughs> She'd like, shove me into the pantry and slam the door really hard. And all the stuff would fall off the shelves on top of me. Oh my god, Angus. I'm so sorry you had to go through that. Uh. Do you know why? Like, for your parents to not like you? Did this have to do with you being gay, perhaps? Like, even back then, that you maybe had feelings for people of the same gender? <sighs> I didn't know at all. I'm so sorry to hear all of this. That's awful. Oh, she'd lock me in there for like a day at a time sometimes. Or overnight. So, uh, I'd like to try to develop psychic powers. So I could like signal the neighbors. Or unlatch the door from the inside. 
Oh, didn't work as you might guess. Did you ever tell anybody about that? Like, that is child abuse. Oh, I never did. I don't know why. Eh, could be fear. I mean, they still were your parents, but... Ah, oh boy. After a while, I, like... I started feeling guilty, too, for some reason. Like, this was something bad I was doing? Like... Being abused? I guess that's not your fault at all. That's entirely on your parents. You were a kid. Oh, don't worry. I know that now. Oh, boy, do I ever. Uh, question. Can I kick all of their asses? Please? Like, I've got experience. I can F some shit up. Well... My mom is kinda old now. If you were to do that, you would be entering the whole realm of breaking bones and such. I... Uh, I still have to visit her sometimes. I have a brother, he's overseas in the army. And my dad lived like 10 years ago. So, who knows where he is or if he's even alive. If he is alive, I don't want to know about it. Oh, Angus, oh, I just want to give you a hug forever. <laughs> well, I was luckier than a lot of kids. I'm just glad I didn't like it. Yeah. Anyway, to your original question. Well, testing out my psychic abilities in the pantry made me really interested in both paranormal stuff and science. And I joined a skeptic society on the internet. And that kind of ruined me on a lot of other supernatural bullshit. All of a sudden, all kinds of things were just... Nope, that's fake. And it gave me something to solve. Something you could debunk or, you know... I don't know. It saved me a little bit, I guess. Oh, you had something to do. Because when someone does all that stuff to you, it can, like, make you do some bad things to yourself. Because you start hating yourself. But anyway, yeah. No ghosts or God. Because if there was a God, he would certainly not allow any of this to happen. So, like... I feel like if I'd been through that, I'd be more likely to want to believe in God or something. Do you believe in anything at all? Um, well... So, like the constellations... I don't believe there's a will out there, but I uh, believe that the stars exist, and that people put the will there. Like, I, I don't know, we're good at drawing lines through the spaces between stars. Like, we're pattern finders, and we'll find patterns. And we like, really put our hearts and minds into it. And even if we don't mean to. So I believe in a universe that doesn't care, and people who do. The universe, it couldn't care any less about what happens inside of it, but the people do and they want to improve. Pattern finders. I feel like a lot of people don't think they found God, but like God found them. Like when they were having bad times like you did. Oh, God never did. I was completely alone in the pantry and nobody heard my cries for help. But. A few years later, Greg did. Greg found me. So like, the stars can stay up there and not give a shit about us. But this will is pretty cool. You're an extremely good and smart person, Angus. I try to be. But I'm no more than anyone else. Still though, you're doing better than most people. Yup. Yep. I should come out here more often. <laughs> yeah. No, oh, don't look at him. Ew. Angus. Do you remember the man, ghost, pig thing I talked about? Well, I just looked back. And I saw the person 
who you said I shouldn't look at. And I'm telling you, that's the man ghost pig. There's someone standing behind us in the trees. Man ghost pig. Holy shit. Holy shit. <gasps> what does it look like? The tall, wearing some kind of coat. It's him, Angus. It's him. Like a utility coat or something. Oh, God. That's the ghost, Angus. I'm more worried about it being a, life, a living person than a ghost. We're standing in the woods staring at us. Here, where no one is supposed to be. Oh, God, oh, God. Well, don't panic. Just stay calm and uh, find something like a rock to possibly hit him in the head with. Just uh, follow my lead. Hey there! Out for a hike? Nice night. He's, uh, not answering. That's because he is a ghost! A man pig ghost! That's a little hostile, right? Can we act in self defense right now? That's definitely a little hostile. I'll search for a rock. Hey! I know what you did! May, no! I saw you! May, don't do. Don't say anything else. If he knows what you saw, then he knows there's a witness. And he might want to get rid of the witness. So, how about you don't say anything right now? Okay, uh, well, plans changed. We're gonna run now. We need to get to the car quickly. But your asthma! Oh, I got an inhaler, which I'm definitely going to need. Oh, the good kind too. No one in heaven or earth can stop me. <laughs> okay, 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 let's go! Deep breaths. In, out. Alright. He's not chasing us. Yet. But that still means I don't trust it. Okay, he's chasing us and he's fast. That is not normal. A being moving almost twice as fast as us kids when running? Yeah, whatever this thing is, it's got powers beyond the normal living being. But is it a ghost or a human? What does it want? I really hope this is all just a misunderstanding.